good day. We are assigned to discuss green laws or environmental laws. So, what is environmental law or green law all about? When you say environmental law, it is a complex and interlocking body of status, common law, treaties, conventions, regulations, and policies. And environmental law will operate to regulate the interaction of humanity and the rest of biophysical or natural environment and the purpose of reducing or minimizing the impacts of human activity both on natural environment for its own sake and on humanity itself. Environmental law is a collective term encompassing aspect of the law that provide protection to the environment a related but distinct set of regulatory regime, now strongly influenced by environmental legal principle, focus on the management of specific natural resources. First law that I will discuss is Philippine Mining Act of 1995 or Republic Act Number no. 7940. Republic Act Number no. 7942 is the governing law that regulates mineral resources development in the country. One of the primary objectives of this act is to revitalize the island Philippine mining industry by providing fiscal reforms and incentives and maintaining the viable inventory of minerals to sustain the industry. The cost of mining here in the Philippines, the environment damage such as pollution of the water waste and poisoning of water resources. The collapse of mountains are not clearly reflected in the income accounts. The Philippines neither brought to economic development nor elevation from poverty. It caused more hardship and environmental catastrophe. Ironically, we are so rich with mineral resources. We remain heavily dependent on imported metal manufacturers. The Act and its RIRR take into consideration of the following Local government empowerment Respect and concern for the indigenous cultural communities Equitable sharing of benefits and natural wealth Demands of present generation while providing the foundation for future generation Worldwide trend generation Protection and wise management of the environment the next law is Republic Act No. 9003 or the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000. In partnership with stakeholders, the law aims to adapt a systematic, comprehensive, and ecological solid waste management program that shall ensure the protection of public health and environment. The law ensures proper segregation, collection, storage, treatment and disposal of solid waste through the formulation and adaptation of the best eco-waste products. Republic Act 10816 or the so-called Farm Tourism Development Act of 2016. It was signed by President Aquino on May 16, 2016. Farm tourism it's, is used to attract visitors and tourists to farm areas for production, educational and recreational purposes. The agriculture sector seeks to improve the income and economic viability of small farmers and rural communities. Under this act, accreditations of farm tourism camps shall be on a voluntary basis and shall be valid for two years. However, accreditation may be suspended or revoked for any violation of the standard. Under Section 8, Investment, Promotion, Financing, and Incentives, the DOT, the DE, and the DTI shall develop programs linking stakeholders in the farm tourism industry, government, financial institutions, government on or controlled cooperations, private banks, financial cooperatives, and other lending institutions to increase access to credit or farm tourism. Under the new law, a Farm Tourism Development Board shall be composed of Tourism Secretary as the Chairperson, Agriculture Secretary as the Vice Chairperson. Its members shall include 
Trade Secretary, President of an educational institution providing farm tourism program, President of National Farm Tourism Organization, President of National Inbound Toward Operations Association, and President of National Federation of Farmers Cooperatives. Philippine Clean Air Act of 1999 or Republic Act 8749. Philippine Clean Air Act of 1999 or Republic Act No. 8749 outlines the government measures to reduce air pollution and incorporate environmental protection into its development plan. The Act also established federal standard for mobile sources of air pollution and their fuel and for sources of 187 hazardous air pollutants. And it establishes a cap and trade program for the emission that cause acid rain. It establishes a comprehensive permit system for all major sources of air pollution. The next law under environmental law is Presidential Decree Number 705 or otherwise known as the Revised Forestry Code of the Philippines. Presidential Decree Number 705 is an act that lays down the basic principle of forest management and conservation, makes provision for the administration of forestry, and also no person may, may utilize, exploit, occupy, possesses, or conduct any activity within any forest or land, or establish and operate any wood processing plant unless he has been authorized to do so under a license agreement, less license, or permit. Republic Act 9147 or the Wildlife Resources, Conservation and Protection Act. Republic Act 9147, otherwise known as the Wildlife Resources and Conservation and Protection Act, is an act providing for the conservation and protection of wildlife resources and their habitants, appropriating funds therefore and for other purposes to initiate or support scientific studies on the conservation of biological di diversity. So, Republic Act 9147 regulates the collection and trade of wildlife, especially protecting threatened or exotic species under domestic law pursuant to international conven convention. Right. Republic Act 11038 aims to establish a legal basis for local communities and other stakeholders to participate and manage and protection of protected areas. So the next is National Causes and Cave Resources Management and Protection Act under Republic Act number 9003. Republic Act 1972 or National Caves and Cave Resources Management and Protection Act. It penalizes the destroying, disturbing, defacing, marrying, altering, removing, or harming the spelugeme or spelugeme of any cave or altering the free movement of any animal or plant life into or out any cave. And also, it prohibits the gathering, collecting, possessing, consuming, 
selling, bartering, or exchanging, or offering for sale any key resource without authority.